Today we're going to talk about posterior crown troughing. We're going to look at an upper premolar here that's been prepped for a, a porcelain crown. You see the diodes brought in at 1.6 watts pulsed. Once you can see it initiating on the tissue, you're good to go. You've initiated this tip just in the last millimeter or two and also on the sides and you're dragging at short brush strokes. You can see the angulation of the tip is a 90 degree 10 millimeter tip and it's angled towards the tooth. I want to show this in a little bit greater detail. Here it is in slow motion and you can see there is some debris building up on the tip. You're not trying to go more than half to one millimeter into the sulcus. Short back and forth brush strokes and again look at the angulation of the, the laser. You can see how the trough is created. You see a little bit lower magnification here. Now we're back to regular uh, full speed. We continue in a circumferential fashion taking short segments and constantly going just half a millimeter into the sulcus or a millimeter into the sulcus to try and uh, create a trough that will allow the lab to see exactly where the edge of the tooth is. Um, you should not see a lot of charring. You might see little remnants of charring, a little debris on the tooth, but you shouldn't see an awful lot there. Again, uh, one tip should be ample. You should be able to get completely around. That's one of the reasons why I like the 10 millimeter tips is because you can go even on uh, deep preps like this in between without having the cannula get in your way. So if we complete this in a little over 90 seconds. We've been able to create a trough. We see some areas where perhaps the tissue is still not quite off the margin. And now we're good to go. What I like to do is to use hydrogen peroxide on these margins to try and remove any of the tissue that's um, been uh, um, created with a lateral a thermal damage. And you can see this white tissue tags or uh, brown tissue tags and the hydrogen peroxide in an ultra dense syringe when it's scrubbed gently on and then you can use a wet cotton pellet as well to just brush away from the margin and get the loose tissue tags off. Hydrogen peroxide works great for trying to take away uh, any of the loose tissue tags and uh, you will um, be able to get a much nicer trough uh, afterwards for your impression. Um, some people prefer just to use a wet cot pellet. You can try that too. Uh, some people like to use hydrogen peroxide on a micro brush. That's another option uh, that you can try. All these systems work to, to try and distend the trough a little bit. And if necessary, you can use Exposil or um, something like Traxident to control it. See not a lot of bleeding here, um, nice uh, uh, tissue management and you're ready for your impression. Here we are now with a photo of the tooth just before impression is done, it's dried. There's the tooth after bonding, a labial view to show you the interocclusal clearance. And now the impression at low mag and at high magnification to show how clearly viewable the margin is. There's your provisional. And I want to close by saying thank you to Jason, to the awesome team at AMD for their great products, for my dental team for putting up with me, and keep lazing, it's amazing.